So in this podcast, I want to look to see if you can solve this by traditional methods. And if you can solve it traditionally, what do you do? Okay, so here we go. Can each equation be solved by factory? Best way to do it, look at the discriminant. B squared minus 4AC. Let's figure it out. Okay, B squared minus 8 squared minus 4 times 7 times C, which is minus 12. Let's figure out the numbers here. This is going to be 64. Subtract a negative times a negative, which is going to make this a positive. So 4 times 7 times 12. Bringing up my calculator here, 4 times 7 times 12 is going to give me a pretty number of 336. Okay, Add that to my 64, and I get a value of 400. Okay, 336 plus 64 gives me a value of 400. My question is, is that number square rootable? If it's square rootable, then guess what? I'm going to have pretty values. Okay, so bring it back here. Second square root of second answer, and look at that. I've got 20. So this is going to give me really, really pretty answers. So I could have solved this using PSA, but here we go. We know that this is 20. Well, I'm three quarters finished using the quadratic formula. So why don't I just finish it? Okay, here we go. Minus B, plus or minus. I know the square root of 400 because I found the discriminant is 20 over 2A. Just substitute the values in, and we're good to go, and we're solved. All right? So minus B is minus a minus 8, right? Plus or minus 20 over 2 times 8. 2 times 7 is 14. So do it twice. 8 plus 20 over 14, and 8 minus 20 over 14. 8 plus 20 over 14, that works out to be 28. 28 over 14, which works out to be 2. One of your roots is 2. This one, 8 minus 14, or sorry, 8 minus 20 is minus 12 over 14, divisible by 2. This is going to be minus 6 over 7. There's my other root, factored, done. Now, if I actually asked for the factoring of this, right, it says solve it, solve it. So I gave the solution, but if I actually wanted the factors of this, I could go backwards from these two answers. And remember, this is x equals to 2 and x equals to negative 6 sevenths, which means, okay, bring the 2 back. x minus 2 is one of your factors. Bring the 6 sevenths back by multiplying this by 7 and that by 7, giving you 7x equals to minus 6. Bring the 6 over, giving you 7x plus 6. There's your two factors. There's your two factors. That's this original equation factored using the quadratic formula. And I showed you that in a previous podcast, but this is a little bit simpler one with nicer numbers. Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at the next question and see if we can solve that. Now with this one, don't forget one of the most powerful things I've ever taught you. G, C, F always, always, always try to GCF at first. And I saw something here that kind of resonated in my brain. I looked at the 14 and I looked at the 70 and I went, oh, I wonder if it's divisible by 7 or by 14 or something like that. And sure, in fact, it is because 63 is also divisible by 7. So let's get rid of the 7 right now. Factor it out. 2x squared then minus 9x minus 10 equals to 0. Okay, now the cool thing is, is, don't forget, if you divide everything by 7, this side and this side divided by 7, that cancels out. 0 divided by 7 is still 0, giving you a nicely reduced version of the formula. There we go. And now let's use the discriminant on this. The discriminant being b squared minus 4ac. And let's see the nature of these roots. B which is minus 9 squared minus 4 times A, which is 2, times C, which is minus 10. Check this out. 9 squared is going to be 81. 4 times 2 is going to be 8. 
8 times 10 is going to be 80. We've got a negative and a negative. So this is going to be plus 80. This works out to be 161. Now my question is, is 161 square rootable? Well, let's bring up the old calculator. Is 161 square rootable? Let's find out. And in fact, it is not. That's really, really, really important. Okay, so knowing that then, we can continue on with, the dis with using the discriminant, but now with the quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation, minus B, plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. And we know that the discriminant is 161. So all we have to do is substitute it back in there. Minus B. Now, what was B again? Let's go back to our original question. Original question, B was minus 9. Okay, so here we go. Minus a minus 9, plus or minus the discriminant we know is 161. So square root of 161 over 2 times A. A was 2. Okay, so here we go. 2 times A, 2 times A. So you get, look like this, minus minus gives you a 9 plus or minus the square root of 161 over 4. That is your answer, and you are done. So a couple different things to look at, and you can see the power of the discriminant.